Hello, gems. I'm just cleansing the area. I just did a video for Scorpio, and it was really intense. For those of you who are dating a Scorpio, you might want to go over there and check that video out. It should be up right now. I'm releasing your video and their video at the same time. Oh, wow. Okay, so I'm just trying to cleanse this area. Thank you, angels. Protect my space. Lead me in the energy and lead me out of it. Thank you, angels. I hope everyone day is being blessed in, you know, positive light. Um, in Atlanta today, the sun is in and the sun is out. <laughs> So, you guys, you know, just taking it as it comes. Okay, so let me just jump into your main energy for Gemini. What's the main energy for Gemini that we're going to refer back to in today's read for Gemini? Gemini, what is going on? Oh, okay, so you're feeling definitely overworked, burned out, stressed out. You're feeling like you have been, you know, at war with this person for so long. You feel like you have to be overly protective about your situation, making sure that nobody really knows what's really going on here. For those of you, I feel like when it comes to this energy, you guys, I'm getting like... You both are very overly protected and no one is really ready to go. Not quite yet, even though you're going through so much. It's like not that um, you're not having that possibility of that. You're thinking about it, but you're not taking any kind of action towards. Yeah, I, I'm leaving this. I'm closing the door with this person kind of energy. So tell me about this for Gemini. Wow. Wow. The Eight of Wands. So this person, I feel like there is going to be some kind of clarity coming towards you when it comes to this person. I feel like they're rushing in very quickly. Some kind of messages are coming in with this energy when i'm looking at this i see the fools the tower i see the two of cups in reverse clearly you guys are in separation there's some disconnect between you and this person i feel like this love started very quickly and it ended really badly this is what i'm hearing here like it's ending really badly um for those of you you're holding on to this nine of wands here you're holding on for dear life you're going through it you're beaten up you're burnt out you're tired you're in tears um, you know, both of you are just trying to do everything possible to have some hope, to keep something alive here. But you're not, I don't feel like you guys are even speaking. Why am I getting like this happening very quickly, this relationship? This tower happened very quickly. I'm getting Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra energy. And for this power struggle here, with this, ele with this energy coming through is Scorpio and Aries energy. I'm definitely seeing Virgo and Gemini in reverse. So there's a lot of mouth. There's a lot of words being thrown in, um, in both directions here. People saying things that they can't take back, which you need to watch, okay? I'm also feeling like there is an energy here that feels like they know everything. And they're not giving someone the time to show that they have some kind of potential to change or to make something happen i feel like someone is over trying to overpower someone with their mouth and i feel like i'm seeing someone walking away from this tower because it's just so much going on here then we have the six of pentacles there is just no balance here but there is going to be some messages coming through for those of you when it comes to love you see like this person is um giving you this cute cute like you know valentine's day cubic arrows or whatever i don't know if i said it right but you know like they're trying to give you this bow with their arrow in your heart or something some messages are coming to you so let me see here 
All right, we need more for Gemini. This was the energy. Ooh, wow, okay, okay, okay. Okay, that just threw out there. Thank you, angels. All right, so definitely pushing this one up on the back of the deck. On this one, we have the, the what is this? The three of pentacles? Whew, all right. So I'm feeling like there is going to be a conversation with you and this person, if even if you like it or not, but you're open to it. I feel like, you know, even though you're going through so much with this person right now, there is still this hope. And I feel like we're going back to the nine of wands again with you and this person holding on to this hope that this relationship is going to work. Like you guys are going to find your way. You know, this is what I'm feeling like this vibe. And I'm definitely see the Knight of Pentacles in reverse here. We have the, uh, the the Four of Cups here in the upright. We have the Empress in reverse. And then we have the Ace of Swords in reverse and Three of Pentacles on the back of the card. So you don't see these messages coming through to you because, you know, you're going through so much of what's in front of you right now how this person is acting with your separation for those of you who have mutual feelings for each other in the two of cups but you just don't know how to communicate that with each other you don't know if you're going to be back together but you're wishing and hoping that this is going to happen like the angels are going to bring you back together and with the star being here the universe is on your side the universe has been listening to you and the universe has been watching exactly what's going on here and i'm here to tell you yes there will be like this form of pull between you and this person you're already feeling it in the two of cups but i feel like it's going to be more of a pull because you're supposed to be nurturing each other in this life with the star being here and i also feel like or help each other to grow this is what i'm hearing to have some kind of faith within this relationship within each other um and I feel like there's going to be a conversation to try to make that happen or try to fix the situation. Because again, the fools jumping into this situation is something that you and this person does. You jump in, you jump out, you move very quickly with each other, then it falls apart. You can't get to, you can't seem to get it together. This is the kind of vibe that I'm seeing with this read right here. But you have your reasons because this person is not even someone that is pursuing anything serious when it comes to a legacy when it comes to foundation when it comes to money i feel like a lot of you lent or loan this person something i feel like this person is being very childish they're not in the process of growing up i'm seeing this person being very lazy um you know and acting like everything is going to come towards them or they don't have to work very hard i feel like you know you might be dealing with um some kind of fire sign here like Aries, for example, I, Aries are very hardworking per people, but I feel like this energy is someone that is definitely want to be successful, but they want someone to hand the instructions to them of how to get there. They don't want to have the experience, like forget about the experience, forget about the failure. Let me just have the success and then I'll continue to make it successful. You know what I'm saying? Like this is the kind of vibe that I'm getting here. And the kind of person that you're with, you like you feel like this this person might not even be enough for you, but you're still there. The, again, going back to the nine of uh, wands here, holding on to this, hoping for this with this person and this person hoping for this with you, right? And then I'm seeing the empress in reverse okay for some of you be very careful when it comes to a child being here because this is someone that you're looking at like you're going to have to take care of for the rest of your life and they're very unstable not only with their mental health but also with their mouth their tongue they're manifesting very negatively saying horrible things and bringing this to life given this life okay and i feel like this person will not change you know this you feel this the ace of swords is here there's no form of change within this person this person might tell you the truth this person might be truthful to you and might choose you but again when it comes to change within this person this person is basically set okay so let's do one more you know what let's just go into this person's energy and see and just see what this person wants to say because i feel like 
we're gonna leave this here okay to go back to because <laughs> we need to go back to it period okay all right so let's see here tell me more about this for gemini this is person's energy what they want gemini to know that they can't say in the physical world what would I like Gemini's to know? This person that's coming out. What is their deal, angels? For Gemini's. Okay. Wow, you have the star again. So I'm getting Aquarius here. You have the star twice. And then you have Gemini in reverse. Okay. Okay, so I'm getting two different energies here hmm. because, you know, when we did your swatch, well, not your swatch, the, that's the energy period, I saw the two of cups. For me as a reader, that's a, a different energy. That's like a, a more like a married couple, soulmate vibes, you know, being one. This is how this person see you by love, right? They love you this way. They have so much love for you, have so much love for them okay so we have the lovers here okay this is a totally different energy for me it's a twin flame card it's a passionate card it's a temptation card um i feel like with this two of swords be next with this person has to choose this is what i'm hearing and this is this person's energy this is not your energy this is what they're picking up this is what they're telling me to tell you obviously there is someone else okay that they broke up with this is what they're saying in the lovers being here and it's like they feel really good about this in the star, all right? So, okay, it's like they have to make a decision, but this is an upright, so it's like telling me they haven't made a decision, but there's a situation where this person's in reverse. Okay, let's keep going, let's keep going, because I'm giving this person the benefit of a doubt, okay? Tell me what you want to tell Gemini that you can't in the physical, please. Okay, these cards are going to shuffle, so obviously there's messages. Hmm. Okay. Anything else? Right. Oh, okay. All right, so let's do this one first. All right, let's see here. <laughs> they seem that this is going to stress you out once you found out. They cheated on you for sure. The three of uh, cups in reverse here. Mm -hmm. They cheated on you, and it wasn't even you know about one person this is what they're telling me but there's other people that's involved here i'm seeing like this is this isn't someone that you they're saying it's not someone that you are that you're familiar with or you know or you're friends with you could have known them but you're not friends with them like you could have seen them around but you're just not close with them but i feel like once you find out about this you're saying that you're going to have a hard time Ugh, this could be a cousin that you don't talk to or some kind of family member that you're, you're just not close with, you know, or, or ex-friend that you're just not close with anymore. But they're saying that they cheated here. They ended things, okay? I feel like this person ended it, not them, because this is in the upright. They're saying they had to make a decision here about this situation, that this situation in reverse, okay? I feel like, look at this. Two of cups, two different energies. What? Okay. All right. All right. Let's just take these because obviously this deck do not want me to shuffle. All right. So <laughs> sometimes I want to pat myself on the back, but I just really the two of cups here in reverse. So you're not together with this person. Remember, you had the two of cups in the main swatch with the energies with your, you and this person's energy together with the two of cups in reverse. And you're here. I knew this was a third party situation. I just knew it. The way the cards are lined out here. And I said, you know what? I said, I saw the two of cups earlier and it's in reverse. That's your energy. You and this person's energy. Why is the lover's card showing up? Hmm. <sighs> uh. So both of you are in reverse, your house is in reverse, and this person wants to come back, but they don't know if you, this is something that you want, okay? Uh, they can't stop thinking about you, but it's been so long for some of you. 
that this might be something that you don't want anymore but they're gonna try anyways i feel like they're saying they made a mistake like they had it all they could have had this beautiful future with you in the 11 11 but they took too long because they were afraid to tell you about this situation it's like i'm getting they they love you both because this is an i'm feeling like this happened very quickly where this person wants answers they're not really understanding what's going on here with this twin flame situation and if because i'm the way this card is is like they have to make a decision between two things right they don't have all the facts yet it's like that doesn't that didn't come to them as yet but yet this lover is in reverse so I feel like the lover left this person. Um, they didn't make a decision to end it with the lover. But you, on the other hand, you guys are in separation as well, okay? With the lover being in reverse here, I'm feeling like someone is not too happy about this being ended. And the person it looks like that's not happy about this being ended is your person, okay? So they kind of like want answers because the vibe that I'm getting is like they can't stop themselves from being with this person and they can't stop themselves from loving you so is this like emotional connection here and there is this physical connection here it's two forms of different love within this person different but they love you both now the funny thing is um I'm getting <laughs> This might be the same energy with the Three of Cups being here, but I just feel like there's other people involved that this person might have slept with. Gemini. <laughs> uh, this person is making my head spin. Honestly, I'm going to have to burn this room too after I finish this read. <sighs> All right. Yeah, but they're on their way back. I feel like they're determined to be successful with you, but there is going to be like the end. Like I'm seeing like you putting an end to this because you want more for yourself. Okay, you don't want me to shuffle. Yep, look at that. So it's like you're putting an end to this in the world because they're the wheel of fortune because you feel like this person sells you a dream yes they're coming after you yes they're really passionate towards you yes they're really attractive towards you you're attracted towards them you have the mutual feelings for each other but at the same time something is happening within you where you want to change now let's go back to the nine of power nine of wands here remember when i told you about the nine of wands don't forget that nine of wands honey because some of y'all yeah, I have in this front like you, you, you leaving this person, but Gemini, your readings always switch and switch on me, honey. So we always remembering that nine of wands right there. You know, both of y'all, yeah, y'all going through it, but don't don't mean that you're gonna be walking away. You know. All right, so I'm seeing that you are definitely well, well, not definitely. I shouldn't say that, but you are definitely. <laughs> A lot of y'all are moving away, trying to move on so bad. This is what I'm hearing from this devil, from this devil that's not going to change. This person, Capricorn for some of y'all coming through. I'm seeing like you, you running away, trying to go to another country, trying to go to another state, trying to move, um, trying to move on. This is what I'm hearing. Okay, but this person is so not let when a devil is here isn't it, I, I just feel like the in, especially in reverse this person has a lot of issues within themselves but because they have a lot of issues within themselves i'm also seeing like they have a lot of issues with letting go okay and letting you go so you're on their mind because that's the only thing good on their mind right now okay um they don't want to focus on themselves and know that they have are damaged and they need to heal they are focused on you, okay? Because the devil showed up right beside the Six of Swords. Okay, so tell me more about this. Okay, since you don't want me to shuffle. The Queen of Swords. So you're putting your feet down. Okay, I'm proud of you. <laughs> don't come for me, y'all, because my ass is looking at the Nine of Wands, okay? Because the Nine of Wands is a powerful card, all right? This is your mage... Your main energy, y'all, okay, where it's like, dang, y'all going through it, burnt out, tired, 
experience after experience after experience explains a cycle here you're done with the cycle but this is still in the upright what is this about it's like you're just not willing to you're both not willing to let this give up it's like i'm seeing you still working at something even though your mind is just pretty much quiet, set, you made your decision, you trust your intuition here, okay? And Cancer is coming up. It's like your energy is shifted onto yourself. You're like looking around you, observing what's going on here, not really asking any questions, already know what's going on within your heart, all right? I feel like you found out some lies that were told as well in the Seven of Swords. Like everything is coming to the surface now. You know, and I feel like you are moving forward. It's like I'm getting this moving forward. The seven of swords, the six of swords, and the eight of cups. Like you're choosing your your place in the world. You're walking away and try to find out what's out there for you, what's good for you. Um, and you feel like this is the right move for both of you. Again, I'm getting that both, you know, with the eight and with the nine. Is the right thing to do, letting this person go. That's what you're saying. You're cutting off all form of communication with this person. This is a long, long relationship with a Queen of Swords energy being cut here. Hmm. Cancer, Capricorn. Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio, Aquarius again, Gemini energy. It's like a lot of you don't feel like this is right. You feel like you're off track with this person because of what's going on here. All right. Let me just use some love messages. on here for Gemini please you know what let me just see what your energy is just break it down a little bit because I'm confused about that knot of wands all right so let me use another deck let me see which deck I'm going to be using right here okay so this is Gemini's energy towards this person please angels What's Gemini energy towards this person when it comes to love? What is this about? What's Gemini's energy towards this person? Gemini energy, please. Gemini energy. Thank you. One more time. Gemini energy, please. Wow, in reverse. Everything is in reverse. So, it's like, Gemini, you have an open slot to this person, but at the same time, we have the Eight of Swords in reverse. That's like what you're feeling right now. You're freeing yourself. So, you know, what I saw here with the lineup, with you walking away and picking your cup, that was actually what is happening. We have the world in reverse. We have the three of wands. What, what is it? The three of wands. These cards are different, so bear with me. And the queen of cups. You don't trust this person's offer and what they have to give you. You feel like this person have lied and kept you in the dark for so long and also feeling like you felt trapped. You felt like, you know, you were carrying their burden. You felt like, you know, you couldn't go anywhere. This is what I'm seeing here. Like you feel incomplete. Like this person is not completing you. You're not learning any, any more from this person. I feel like you're not growing the way you want to grow and you're finding yourself. I feel like what happened here is this person didn't make a choice between you or this person. It took forever to do that. That's what hurt you the most in the three of wands. It's like they didn't come after you. They didn't chase you. They didn't show you how important you are to them. Uh, okay, so let me go to this person's energy. I want to find a deck, you guys. Uh, I have so many decks here, but because I've used it already, I don't want to use it again. So tell me about this person's energy. I want to use different decks, you know, for the energy. Tell me about this person's energy towards Gemini, please. How this person is feeling towards, towards Gemini. 
um, at the end of it all, what does this person's action inclines? Okay, we have the world, the Wheel of Fortune here, but I'm not going to take it. Tell me, what does this person's energy towards Gemini? Oh my God, okay. Let's discuss in here. Okay, what's the last card? They're afraid of you. Ugh. They have a lot of anxiety, very immature energy, very childish here. I feel like there's something that needs to be said, but I feel like this person is just like not sure how to say it to you. I'm feeling like what they do is talk over you. I don't know if I was getting that vibe like in the beginning of the reading. I'm going to have to look at the video again because we talked about so much. But I'm getting like this energy of Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra energy talking over you. Um, this person is realizing that you don't want to be with them. Like they are a lost cause. But they do see one day, maybe, you know, you guys can build a home together. You guys can have a future together in this 10 of um, cups. I'm also seeing like this person is saying that they appreciate everything that you have done for them. And this explains the nine of cup, the nine of wands, but not really. You know, I feel like it's both of you. This keeps this open slot, like this open slot of opportunity that bring you back, bring you guys back together. I cannot talk about that enough. Okay, because they're they're showing me that, but you're not. It's like you're just like, hold on, let me just be nosy. <laughs> I want to, I want to unfold you. I want to see what Gemini is trying to hide from me because Gemini, you really have this energy of saying, no, I'm leaving. I am. I just want to explain this. So what's the next card? The six of pentacles. So it's like you're moving towards balance for yourself. You do, you, you want some balance for yourself. You want balance to be brought back. You're moving on. And because of balance, I feel like you're going to let this go and, you know, um, not for, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing possibly forgiveness, but it's like not quite what I want this to be. But I'm not going to, you know, be nosy. It is what it is. This is what you want. This is what you want. I'm just going to be stuck with that energy because that's your main energy right there. You know, I don't feel like you guys are about to leave in the nine of wands being in the upright. <sighs> You know, you're tired, yes, you need some time. You want things to change, but I don't feel like you're, this is what you're letting on in your major energy. But this is what I have for y'all. Y'all know what this is then. <laughs> we know what's going on your ass. Uh, nah, you good. You're like, I don't want to be with this person. You got a five of swords. I'm being nosy in your business, Gemini. You're like, nah, too much stuff going on here. So you're bringing up all the stuff that this person have done to you, okay? And you're just done with this person for now. But this is what I have for y'all. I hope it resonates. If it does, you know what to do, Gemini. Like this video. Give this video a big thumbs up. Ooh, I forgot to include this. So let's include some angel messages. Make this a little bit light. I was so focused on your energy. Okay. Gemini, please. What's going on for Gemini? What, what messages do you want Gemini to know, angels? Moving forward. In the next few months, I feel like you guys are going to be in a better place, um, a new place, okay? For those of you who are planning to move, all right? This is a new beginning for you. I'm hearing a fresh start. Choose a new direction. So those of you who are going through something, I feel like having a new, um, a new way of doing things is going to be a major factor and also having someone guide you. This is what I'm feeling. I'm feeling like you're going to be guided or shown something new. Okay? Choose a new direction. Because I feel like whatever is happening now is just not working. The way you're handling things. Okay? Helpful people. Yep. Yeah. You're going to be guided. You're going to be protected. Um, I'm seeing a lot of people around you just checking on you. I feel like in the next few weeks, though, I'm seeing a conversation. Because I have the next few months, you're moving, but in the next few weeks, I'm seeing a conversation, even counseling for some of you. Something better also is coming up. 
meditation bring answers and we have reconsider okay hmm i'm not even gonna go there with a the reconsider card okay <laughs> the nine of wands i'm over the nine of wands energy y'all but there's going to be a conversation about the past okay take action this is what i'm hearing don't just run away from this situation deal with it but there's going to be a conversation between you you and this person that's going to bring light to it um and you're going to have to make a decision moving forward but this is what i have for you love you guys and i'll see you guys in the next one and give this a big thumbs up if it does resonate and i'll see you guys in your next read bye guys